Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Advanced Bio Tutorial. Today I am going to show you a different thing. The demonstration of dissection of mammalian heart. Yes, that is the original mammalian heart, the heart of goat. But two things. Firstly, I request to them who are feeling bad by seeing this type of dissection. My request is not to see this video. Please don't see this video, okay? But I have to do this because this, this is for study purpose and my channel is the channel for education. Now, you should have some conception about the structure of mammalian heart before doing this. If you have any confusion about the structure of the heart, then it will be better to see my another video tutorial structure of mammalian heart. And to see this, hit the i button at the top screen. Okay. No more talk now. Let's start. Okay. Now, see the heart. We know the heart is surrounded by a thin membrane. Okay. This is this membrane. Right. This is the membrane. I'm showing you. This is the membrane. And this is known as the pericardium, you know. Firstly, I have to rupture this pericardium. Now, see this pericardium. Let's cut it out. Let's cut it out. Now, see this is the heart, okay, firstly we determine the dimension, okay, this is the dorsal face of the heart and this is the ventral face of the heart, okay, if we keep it dorsally, this is the dorsal side, so this is the left side of the heart, here it is written left. And this is the right side of the heart, right, okay. If I turn it to upside down like this, then this is the ventral side, right? And then the right side and the left side will be changed. Then this side is the left side, okay. I cut it and I'm, this is the left side of the heart. And this, I also cut it, this is the right side of the heart, right side of the heart, clear, the sides of heart, now this is the left side, this is the right side, okay, see, now I am showing you the heart externally, okay, so this is the atrium, this is the left atrium, and this is the right atrium. See, this is the right atrium and this is the left atrium. Okay, this one. Now, what is the ventricle? This is the ventricular part. It is much more larger than the atrium. Now, see, th this is the line of sulcus. That means you can trace the interventricular septum by seeing this. So, this is the left ventricle and this is the right ventricle okay now if you see attentively then you can see on the surface of heart like this these all are the coronary arteries and vein see this this is the left coronary artery arterial branch this is one branch anterior interventricular artery this is the circumflex okay now this one marginal and you cannot see here because of fat bodies and this is the this is the posterior interventricular artery okay these all are the coronary artery and there there are so many coronary veins also now come to the dissection now i'll cut it from here cut it from here
Now see how the heart muscle is thick. Oh God, how much thick it is. Yes. Yes. See here. Can you see? Wait, I'm giving more light here. See this. Right? See this. This is the I'm showing you. This is the left ventricle. Okay. Here is the chamber. And you can find here this one is the papillary muscle. If you see the another papillary muscle, I have to give one incision more. See, this is the papillary muscle. This is another papillary muscle. And these are the Cordy tendini. Okay. And see, this cordy tendini remain attached to the this portion. This is the bicuspid valve. This is the bicuspid valve. When the papillary muscle contracted, when the papillary muscle contracted, when the papillary muscle contracted, this one, then this bicuspid valve will be opened. I am showing you the bicuspid valve. Okay. See this one. See, this is the bicuspid valve. You can see this is the bicuspid valve. Okay. So, now come to the right side. Now come to the right side. I have to give one more incision in the right side. Like this. Now see, see, this is the right ventricle, okay? You can see here, this is the right ventricle. See here is a blood clotting, okay? Now, see the papillary muscle. These all are the papillary muscle, right? These all are the papillary muscle. And see the cordy tendini, like this. Okay, these are the cordy tendini. Okay, it is remain attached to this valve. This is the tricuspid valve. Okay, like this. This is the tricuspid valve. I am showing you the tricuspid valve, like this. See, see this is the tricuspid valve, okay? See this is the tricuspid valve and the cordy tendini is remain attached to it, okay? Okay, now, now you know this is the left ventricle and this is the right ventricle. This is the atrium, left atrium and this is the right atrium, okay? From the left ventricle, the aorta is formed, see, I'm penetrating this straw from this left ventricle and see this is the aorta right this is the aorta okay now from the from the right ventricle there is the left ventricle there is the right ventricle okay this is the pulmonary artery connected to the right ventricle okay now so what is this this is the See the atrium. 
left atrium so this is the atrial chamber see the atrium okay see the atrium see the atrium here okay this is the ventricle left ventricle this is the left atrium and this is the right ventricle and this is the right atrium it is closed up to rupture this okay this is the atrium and see this one this is the superior vena cava this is the superior vena cava right so here we can understand the four chambers of heart the aorta and the pulmonary artery and the papillary muscle connected to the cordy tendini like this here you can see connected to the cordy tendini bicuspid valve and tricuspid valve bicuspid valve and tricuspid valve this is the bicuspid valve and there you can see the tricuspid valve see this is the right ventricle okay now see what is this come to the point what is this so this septum this septum this septum separates the left ventricle and right ventricle that means this is the interventricular septum how thick it is just see if i make a section from here then we can see the different layers of heart muscle that is epicardium myocardium and endocardium right come on to the computer and see the three layers okay see this is the under microscopic image of Layerification of hearts, that is the histology of heart. Now, from the outside, I am telling the layerifications. The outermost layer is the epicardium, middle layer, myocardium, and the innermost layer is the endocardium. Okay? I hope that you like this video because these are quite different types of videos. Completely practically oriented, dissection oriented biological videos. If you like this, then press the like button. If you want to inspire me, then subscribe my channel. I need your support. Thank you. Thank you all.